Obesity is one of the most common conditions that affects many people across the world. Excess body weight is a serious risk factor for developing cardiovascular and musculoskeletal complications. To produce significant weight loss, few medications can be used that reduce appetite. These appetite suppressants are commonly known as anorectic agents. Diethylpropion is an appetite suppressant approved for the short-term management of obesity and in people. Interestingly, it is a sympathomimetic agent. That means it increases sympathetic activation in your brain. It controls a few appetite centers in your brain that help you reduce your food intake. This medication is given to you if you are unable to control excess body weight, even with diet restrictions and exercise. When your body mass index is above 30 kilograms per square meter, you need a weight reduction. In the presence of any risk factors like diabetes, heart disease, or hypertension, your BMI should be more narrow below 27 kilograms per square meter. In such conditions, you may be prescribed diethylpropion for a short period of time, up to a few weeks. Being a sympathomimetic, it acts just like adrenaline. Therefore, it can affect your heart, brain, and blood vessels. This causes few unwanted effects and risks when its action is primarily intended to reduce appetite. In this video, let's explore key facts about diethylpropion. How to take this medication, how it works, how long it should be used, where to avoid, what are common side effects, and what is its effect on blood vessels and heart. All such information is highly essential to know before using this medication. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you really enjoy this video. Share this video with your family and friends for better understanding this medication. Without any delay, let's start our discussion. How to take it. Diethylpropion is available in two types of dosage forms. One is the immediate release tablet, and the second is the extended release tablet. Later is denoted by the letter ER, indicating extended release. Even though both of these dosage forms contain the same active ingredient, they are not equivalent. They release medication in different ways in your body. Immediate release tablets contain 25 mg of diethylpropion hydrochloride and they release the entire medication at the same time in your body. Therefore, they act for a short period, and they need to be taken every time before the meal to suppress appetite. That's why these immediate release tablets are taken three times a day, one hour before each meal. Extended release tablets are designed to release medication gradually over an extended period of time. Therefore, they contain 75 milligrams of medication, which is slowly released, and distributed over an extended period of time during the day. Hence, they can be taken once a day to show their effect on the entire day. It is recommended that these ER tablets be taken in the mid-morning for better efficacy. You have to take care while taking these ER tablets. These tablets are prepared with a specific coating to slow the release of medication. Therefore, don't crush, break, or chew the tablet to avoid the sudden release of the drug. Diethylpropion is only used for a short period of time, up to a few weeks. Your doctor will suggest the right dose and duration of treatment based on your conditions. Never combine other medications that show a significant reduction in appetite. How it works? Diethylpropion is an amine related to amphetamine. This medication is extensively metabolized in the liver. One of the advantages of diethylpropion is its excretion. All the metabolites of diethylpropion are rapidly excreted in the urine. Therefore, they do not build up in your body. Diethylpropion and many of its metabolites are active in appetite suppression. They act on a few neurons in your brain that release catecholamines. Catecholamines like norepinephrine and dopamine are essential for controlling appetite centers in the brain. Elevated levels of these catecholamines improve appetite suppression. Diethylpropion works by improving their levels in your brain. This can be achieved by blocking their reuptake transporters. Diethylpropion blocks two types of transporters. One is the NET, or norepinephrine transporter. Another one is DAT, or dopamine transporter. By blocking these transporters, it increases the levels of these chemicals in your brain. This helps in controlling appetite by suppressing hunger centers. How long should it be used? The effects of this medication may be variable for individuals. Typically, it is used for a short-term period of four weeks. Initially, you may observe a significant weight loss with diethylpropion. 
But for a few people, such expected weight loss may not be observed with continuous use. This is due to the development of tolerance toward this medication. In such cases, there is no need to increase the dose. Instead, you can discontinue its use as it will not work further. Another reason to avoid long-term use of diethylpropion is dependence on this medication. After prolonged use, if you suddenly stop its use, you may suffer from withdrawal symptoms. It can also increase the risk of convulsions in epileptic patients. Side effects of diethylpropion. This medication increases sympathetic activation in your brain. Consequently, you may observe a few adverse effects on your heart. You can experience palpitations, a rapid heartbeat, and precordial pain, resulting in sharp and sudden pain in your chest. It can also elevate your blood pressure and cause a few changes in your ECG. Even though it is rarely observed, it can induce pulmonary hypertension that leads to shortness of breath, fainting, dizziness, and pressure in the chest. Swelling at the ankles and legs is another symptom that may indicate the development of pulmonary hypertension. You can also perceive restlessness, nervousness, blurred vision, dry mouth, and some difficulty in movements. You can have hallucinations with higher doses. When to avoid? Diethylpropion should be avoided in all conditions where excess sympathetic stimulation is troublesome. If you have serious agitated states, then it is better to avoid them. It should be avoided by people with any history of pulmonary hypertension. It is also not recommended for people with severe hypertension. Diethylpropion causes constriction of blood vessels. Therefore, in people with advanced stages of blocked arteries, it should be avoided. If you have hyperthyroidism, use of this medication is not recommended. Don't use this medication if you develop any allergic reactions. If you have glaucoma, this medication complicates the condition. Pulmonary hypertension. Diethylpropion reduces appetite and helps you achieve weight loss. But these benefits should be overweighed by the risks produced by this medication. Just like many appetite suppressants, diethylpropion can have serious effects on blood vessels supplying the lungs. It can elevate the blood pressure of these blood vessels, leading to pulmonary hypertension. This is due to its effects on your brain. Diethylpropion can increase sympathetic stimulation in your brain that releases catecholamines. These tiny chemicals can cause constriction of the blood vessels supplying the lungs. With that, you may initially have shortness of breath during exercise. But later, you can also find difficulty breathing, even in resting conditions. You can also have pain in your chest. A sensation of squeezing, tightness, and pressure can also be observed. Along with the above symptoms, a significant swelling in your ankles, legs, and belly may suggest pulmonary hypertension. Therefore, you should carefully observe these symptoms during its use and report them to your doctor if they develop. The risk of pulmonary hypertension with the use of diethylpropion is highly related to its dose and duration of treatment. If you use this medication for more than 12 weeks, you will be at high risk of developing pulmonary hypertension. That's why your doctor may suggest this medication for a very short period with close monitoring of weight loss. With the use of diethylpropion, you should have a significant weight loss within four weeks. As a rule, you may have a four pound reduction in your body weight within four weeks of treatment. Otherwise, it's useless to continue therapy or to increase its dose. Beyond no significant weight loss, the use of diethylpropion increases the risk of pulmonary hypertension. Effect on heart? Even though it's rare, this medication may increase the risk of inflammation in your heart valves, commonly known as valvulopathy. This can cause cardiac arrhythmias and chest pain. Generally, few of the older generation appetite suppressants, like fenfluramine, are associated with this risk. This medication can also elevate your blood pressure. As it enhances sympathetic stimulation in your brain, your blood vessels may get more constricted due to the release of catecholamines. This results in an elevation in your blood pressure. Therefore, keep monitoring your blood pressure regularly while using this medication. That's all, guys. These are the important facts that you should know before using diethylpropion for weight loss. Elevation in blood pressure and risk of pulmonary hypertension should be closely monitored during use of this medication. Share your experience and adverse reactions you observed in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.